there's something astonishing about anonymous artists. It's not so much the works they craft, though those are often incredible, it's simply the fact that they exist. I think for most of us, we identify an artist by reading his signature, that piece of barely discernible chicken scratch scrawled in the corner of a painting. But when it comes to anonymous artists, there's no signature to be found, no name to associate with the craftsman. And yet, for all our ignorance, and sometimes a distance of hundreds of years, we still know that it was the same anonymous artist, whoever he may have been, that painted these three frescoes, or sculpted those four statues. How is that possible? How can we trace all these different works of art back to the same one artist when we don't even know who he was? Well, practically speaking, most of us can't. We lack the knowledge, the training, and, quite frankly, the time. But that doesn't mean that it can't be done in principle. There are people out there, artists and art historians, who are so perceptive in these matters that they can recognize a unique brushstroke and characteristic colors that allow them to identify the same source for a whole host of artworks. Man's natural knowledge of God, what we can know about him by human reason alone, is a lot like that knowledge of an anonymous artist. We can place before our minds two different works of art. On the one hand, the whole created universe, the macrocosm of stars and planets, animals and plants. And on the other hand, we can place before our minds this unique creature called man, the microcosm, full of understanding and freedom and moral responsibility. Do these works of art have the same source? Can we really trace all things back to one creator? Practically speaking, most of us can't. At least, not if we mean going through the hard work of actually proving it. We certainly have our intuitions, and common sense can get us pretty far. No painting paints itself, no sculpture sculpts itself, and so it seems reasonable to conclude that no universe makes itself. But actually proving the point demands wisdom and penetrating insight and a whole lot of time for study. But that doesn't mean that it can't be done in principle. Just as there have been men with the requ requisite skill to identify the anonymous artist, so too there have been wise men in ages past, and there are wise men in our own day, who have correctly traced both the world and man, the macrocosm and the microcosm, back to a single, all-creating source. It can be done, and it has been done. But this God that we know by human reason alone is an anonymous God. We see his works, but we do not know his name. Human reason can conclude that this anonymous God exists. It can even tell us what he must be like as a master craftsman, as the one who made all things. But who this anonymous God is? Knowing that exceeds the power of mere human reason. And so, if we want to know more than just that God is, if we want to really know who God is, we need to look to a source of truth that is beyond mere human reason.